Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to learn about the new frame API locator from Playwright and it is available from the version 1.17. Uh, from the same version, already we discussed like how to zip a reporter or how to generate a static reporter and yet another feature is the uh, frame API. We are going to take a look on that. Before that, let's go and take a look of our earlier code that we write on the very first of our tutorial. So here you can see like we have a like page dot frame where we have to say so the send the properties of the frame like how to locate it and if the frame is not null then probably we'll do some actions and if you want to get into the inner frames then again we have to get the child frames where it will give us like a lot of frames then from the array like zero or first then we have to do something right and if there is no frame of course we can throw an error so that we'll know like there is no frame right uh, this is fine but still it looks uh, very complicated uh, when we compare this uh, to the selenium right but now with the latest version of 1.17 it's going to be very simple and it's going to be more easier to understand and to write code okay so we have a couple of methods we will discuss one by one now let's go ahead go and take the scenario okay so i'm going to take the same scenario that we discussed earlier uh, for your reference i will leave a card here probably you can check the older frame video okay so here we have one frame uh, like we can enter the first name last name and then we'll get some data like this so if i give some data here you can see like whatever i'm going to type i will get that here and then i can pass my email id here this is basically my inner frame okay so totally we have like uh, the main window within that i have one frame and within the frame i have another child frame okay so let's take a look on this uh, so i have created a folder called frame and within that i have created a file called frame.test.ts and within that i have a simple test okay now let's go and write some code okay so first of all we'll go to the uh, page so i will say like await dot page dot go to and i'm going to say slash frame okay so already in my playwright config file i have the base url so just for your reference if you forgot uh, here we have this base url and here i have given let code dot in right and this is basic slash frame so we are going to uh, give this path that will technically append okay so that is the use of base url and after that we are going to locate the frame so we have like page dot frame locator this is the new uh, function and here we have to give the locator it can be anything it can give you uh, give like id the css xpath whatever the locator strategy we have in our playwright we can give this and of course await is not required here because this is a uh, function that doesn't going to return any promise okay and let's go and in inspect this one first so here we have a uh, frame called id which has like first fr so i'm going to take that and here i'm going to use the css and i'm going to pass it right that's it now let's store this like i will say like const uh, frame now with the help of frame i can do all the actions like uh, type click fill uh, whatever the actions we have in play right everything is going to same but directly i cannot use the frame of course i have to find the locator right so here i will select frame dot locator and within the locator uh, let's go and inspect this one and let's go and use the latex path and css so here we have a unique locator so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste over here okay now this is fine we can do it in two ways like i can say here itself like i want to do the type action and i can pass my test data or else i can store that in a variable and we can use that i will show you that okay so here i'm going to send my name kaushik and of course await is needed here because we are handling this type function which is going to return me the promise okay so we have to make sure await is there or else you know like if you miss say await then of course uh, the lines will not execute in a sequence manner and we will definitely have a lot of issues okay now i'm going to copy paste and here instead of this i'm going to remove this and i'm going to store this here like uh, const i will name it like l name the last name and this is await in this place await is not required because locator does not give us the promises whereas type returns us the promises so here we are using the await okay so whenever there is a promises of course we have to handle it now here i'm going to say like await and the l name and let's say that i'm going to do the type and here i can pass like cha -E and of course i have to change this locator as well so let's go and inspect this one and it has this one okay so i'll just replace this one okay i hope you got it it's very simple okay now once i type my 
first name and last name of course i can validate if i want to so here i have a like this unique class name so i'm going to take that and again i'm going to say like await and then followed by frame dot locator and then for by i'm going to uh, locate this one and i'm going to retrieve the text content so let's go and store this here like text equal to and then i'm going to just log this okay so console.log and then followed by text okay that's it very simple test let's go and execute and let's see okay so i'm going to click on this execute playwright test this look uh, very simpler and easy to understand comparing to the uh, earlier version of syntax okay so here you can see that it's going to type in the first name last name and of course i got this and here you can see like it didn't type it fully for some reason um it's only ch okay um await is also there okay let's rerun this one more time Yeah, it's typed correctly for some reason uh, in previous execution it didn't happen maybe we can debug and check later on stages okay now let's focus to the today's topic okay now i'm going to create one more test and here i'm going to uh, interact with the inner frame of course i can write here itself just to show you i'm going to create okay so i'll use the same here so i'll go to the uh, page first inner frame and here we have the frame locator that is the main parent right now within the parent we have the child frame so of course i have to navigate from that parent right so let's go and inspect this one so here i can see like i have a frame which has some class like this and src equal to inner frame okay uh, i'm going to use this use this anyway it's fine okay now from the frame again i'm going to find a frame so i can again call the functions like frame locator and here i'm going to give my locator strategy okay the css and now let's store this in like inner frame okay and then followed by what i'm going to do is i'm going to repeat the same action like here we have a email so let's go and inspect and here i can get that and here i'm going to say like inner frame dot locator and then followed by the value and i'm going to say like type and here i'm going to uh, give my email address so pushycat let go dot in and of course i have to use the await because we are handling the promises here with the type method okay that's it let's go and run this now so first we'll find the parent locator and from the parent frame locator we'll again find the frame locator that's easy it is okay so here you can see like uh, the value is typed and of course the browser is going to close now you might ask me we are in the we are within the inner frame how can i go out of the frame it's going to be very simple so for example if you want to interact with the parent frame again you can use the same this one right so already we have a frame and then again you can say like uh, frame dot locator dot type so once i enter the email i'm going back to my parent frame and there i'm going to type my name okay and if i want to go out of all the frames then of course it's very easy instead of using the frame object we have to use the page object for example i'm going to click on this login button right so where it has a link text called login so i'm going to copy that and here i'm going to say let await page dot click and i'm going to pass this within the single quotes okay so if it's a text it's a link text of course you have to pass within the single quotes that should be uh surrounded with double quotes that is how player right locators works okay now let's go and run this once again we can see the difference now so email has been typed and then the first name and then you saw the login page right so that's it very simple it's very uh, neat and clean okay so let's take a look on other methods what we have so in case if you have like duplicate frames well, how we can uh, locate right so here we have something like first so just in case if you have the same uh, identity uh, same locator for multiple frames then we can say like first or the last or if you have like index based you can use the nth so that are the three uh, functions we have okay and already we discussed the frame locator and the locator okay so that's it very simple neat and clean and i hope this makes a lot sense comparing to the previous 
version of handling frame okay so yeah that's it uh, that's it for this video if you have any queries feel free to ask in the comments or you can also join our discord channel where we discuss few things okay so that's it for from my side thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon tata bye bye take care